you guys, I'm just taking your weekly video. I'm not gonna do uh, too much on the outside because it's raining, um, but I'm gonna do a lot on the inside and walk around all that fun stuff for you and show, point it all out. <clears throat> I came out earlier today and walked around, but I wanted to get a video for you in case you need to send it to anyone else. Get some of the water off the lens so you can see a little bit better. Um, view in the living room. It's a little dark, I can't really show you a lot of the textures in the house, but we do different textures in different areas of the home. Um, for instance, you can probably see it here now. We do an orange peel texture on the walls, because uh, it looks just like an orange skin, that's why it's called orange peel. And we do a knockdown, um, or Spanish lace, it's called two different things on the ceiling. You can probably see it, sorry, it's a little slow to zoom in. Let's see if I can get it to get, there we go. You can see that's the texture used on the ceiling, and it's a different texture on the walls. Um, this is the den study, which is when you come into the home, is going to be on the left when you first walk in. Uh, you've got electrical outlets roughly every six feet throughout the room. One there, there, then you've got a cable outlet and electrical. Electrical by the window, and then electrical in the corner over there. One there, and then you've got double switches here. First switch will be for the light when they get final power on the house. There's not any power right now. Second switch would be for a ceiling fan if you wanted to install a ceiling fan in this room. Um, this is your ceiling fan in the family room. The only place to control the blades on the ceiling fan are going to be on that set of switches, but you can control the light for the ceiling fan there as well, as well as there's another switch going into the back bedroom and one over here. So the three locations you can control the light, but only one location you can control the blades itself. And that'll be right there. As we walk back, they've got your vent cut out already for your air conditioning unit, and they've got your thermostat already up here located. We don't have final power, so your AC is not on. This is your switch for the hallway light, which is located right here. And this is your carbon monoxide detector for these two rooms. There's a carbon monoxide detector outside of every room and a smoke detector on the inside of every room, and they're all wired together. So we walk into the front bedroom, you've got a, once again, a light switch here and your ceiling fan switch here, even though there's only a traditional light up there. Every, room, every bedroom is braced and wired for a ceiling fan. We've got an electrical outlet located here, one next to the window, one on the other side of the window, and then one here with your closet in the back corner back here. They don't have your racks installed, but you'll have a rack up here uh, which you can hang and store stuff on top of inside that closet. And this is the bathroom for the two bedrooms they share. You'll have a mirror located up here underneath your lights. You'll have the first switch here controlling your lights itself, and the second one controlling the vent. Um, and that's the vent that runs outside toilet, your vanity, and your tub slash shower unit. Across from it, you have a linen closet, and in the linen closet you'll have four shelves, plus the floor for storage. And then in the middle bedroom, once again you'll have the first switch for a light, second one for a ceiling fan, and you've got electrical outlets about every six feet once again with one there, 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 and there. And then this one has a large closet. And this is a smoke detector in this room here. The smoke detectors are going to be the entrance of every room. They're, like I said, they're all wired together, including the carbon monoxide detectors, so they'll go off and they'll all go off at once. You've got an electrical outlet located here on this wall in the family room and one over there, as well as a cable outlet next to it right there. Go back to this back bedroom, as you called it, your in-law suite, your mother-in-law suite. This is your carbon monoxide detector here for this room. Smoke detector there. Light switches again, same principle. First switch would be for the light, second one would be for a ceiling fan if you install a ceiling fan. Um, you've got a electrical and cable, electrical, electrical, and electrical. This is your closet that runs the length of the room. And then this is your third bathroom back here, which they've got your vanity installed. Uh, they don't have the mirror, but you'll have a mirror here that runs up to the, the lights and then the lights and of course your switches here. First one's for the lights, second one will be your exterior vent, which is Located right there, and that runs outside once again, has an exterior vent, it doesn't go up into the attic like some other builders do. This is your exterior door here, that'll go out to the back porch, it's running pretty good now. Um, you got a ceiling fan on your back porch here. You've got access into the family room, well the back porch has three access points, master bedroom, family room, and then of course bathroom three. And you've got the, the bay windows here from the, the eating area of the kitchen, the breakfast area. We'll go back through the rest of the house. So. 
This is the back side of the family room. You've got your hop-up bar that leads into the kitchen with your pendulum lights hanging over it. This is that access from the family room to the rear covered porch. Uh, this switch here, one will be for the ceiling fan outside, should be the first one here. Second one will be for the light in the breakfast area, which is located right there. This is your breakfast area here. Your island is not located where it's going to normally be. It'll actually slide that way a little bit more. Um, they don't have the wiring and all set up with the conduit yet to run up into the island. Um, your electrical plug-in will be on this side of the island. This is your sink. It's not installed yet. They haven't finished that yet to install it. Um, but that's your faucets and all for that. This is your garbage disposal here. And your dishwasher will go down here on the bottom. This is where your refrigerator will go. But they've already got in here your under cabinet lighting installed. You can see it here. It's obviously not on power on the house. So I can't show you how it works. But what one of these switches here will be for, for that. You've got your range installed, which you've upgraded your range in your microwave. So this is your range and your microwave. Stagger cabinets with crown molding that wrap around. But sorry, it's a little dark, so you can't quite see everything. And walk down this hallway. Uh, we'll come back to the laundry room and the garage. And this is the master. Large open master suite with crown molding and tray ceiling inside. Sorry, tray ceiling with crown molding inside. Um, as we walk around the room, you've got an electrical located down here. Cable, electrical. One more electrical. Electrical. Excuse me. Sorry, I hope I didn't shake the camera too much. There we go. Okay. Electrical, phone, electrical, and one more electrical here. So we walk back into the master bathroom. First switch here is going to work the lights over the vanity. Second one should run, I believe, the vent, and the third one will run the light above the shower unit, which is right there. These two may be switched, but I know that the first one runs the lights over the vanity there. Got one walk-in closet to your right when you walk in. Sorry, it's a little dark, it's a little hard to see. And then you got one more over here as well. Which now is the right, but when you walk in, it'll be right and left. Well, you understand. Got your countertops with your double vanity and your cabinets. You've got your garden tub or soaker tub or hard-shaped tub, whatever you prefer to call it. You've got your separate shower unit, which they don't have the doors on yet. Uh, the light that goes above it. And we've got the water closet, which they don't have the framing in the door in yet, but they will. Um, and you've got two switches here. First switch will operate the light. Second switch will operate the exterior vent, which is there and runs outside to the soffit. But you do have a window in the uh, water closet. You do have a linen closet outside of the master suite because there's not one in there. So once again, you'll have four racks plus the floor for storage in here. It's a very deep closet. It's a little hard to tell with the light, but it's a deeper closet than any other closet you have in the home. This is your laundry room. You've got an electrical switch here as well as one over there. I have to come around the corner where the light's not clearing it out, but you can see it now. We've got your hot water and your cold water hookups as well as your electrical connection for your washing machine and your dryer connections and the exterior vent that goes up to the roof. And then this is your linen closet behind the door that goes up to the garage. In the garage, you've got an array of switches that are normally on the left, but in this case, they've been put on the right. Um, one switch, which should be the first one, should operate the lights in the garage. Second switch should operate the lights outside the garage. On either side of the door, you'll have two carriage lights. This switch will more than likely operate it, and this one will operate the attic connection. Sometimes these two get switched around, so you may have this one may work the attic or it may work the outside of the garage, and then this one will do the opposite of that. This is your wire for your garage door opener, so that connection will be on the right. Garage door opener wires are there, and then you have sensor wires on either side of the garage as well, which you can't see this side. This is your uh, dishwasher, which isn't installed yet. It should be going in soon. As you can see, this is it here. They got the plastic cover on. I don't want to take it off because they're still in the construction process. I don't want to have it get damaged or anything. And then the last room of the house is the formal dining room which you are going to use, I think you said, for an office. Uh, normally this wall would be open more to, right there it would be open all the way through, but you had us close it off. One switch here, controls the light. There will not be a fan in here unless you guys add one in, but there's not a switch independent for the light. We've got a electrical, 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 and electrical. We've got one more electrical, a phone connection, cable, and electrical connection in here. If you have any questions, 
please do not hesitate at any point to call or email me. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Oh, one more thing, I didn't go over the switches in here. The first switch when you walk in will be the light for your front porch light. Um, and then this switch is for the light in the foyer right here. And that's your doorbell box. Uh, and you do have an electrical connection down here, so if you want to have a little table with a lamp, you can do that there. Uh, anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to email or call me anytime.